Jason, go watch the stuff, don't bring it up. Yeah, nobody f with my <laughs> Hey folks, my name is Jason Sudeikis and these are my essentials. Look, I'm gonna be transparent with you. I'm shooting a TV show here, Ted Lasso, the second season of that in London. So I don't have my most essential essentials. I have my bare minimum essentials, but these are the things I, you know, I roll with, you know? And they all go in this number one essential, this. That's my backpack. This was a birthday gift for my 40th birthday uh, about five years ago from Shinola. It is a beautiful, beautiful, like deep green. When I worked at Saturday Night Live, uh, I tried the, you know, the side saddle. And I tried like a Jack Spade bag, like a messenger bag. And I just found myself going back to the backpack time and time and time again. It's been beaten up and broken in and worn in and you know, Shinola makes good Shinola. The laptop sleeve, which there is one in here, not important to me because I use this uh, Mont Blanc sleeve within a sleeve. So, you know, it doesn't matter where I put it, but that's where I keep my, my laptop. I would say the laptop is the most essential because yeah, this is what I, you know, write, rewrite, send notes for everything with the show. Uh, I mean, the whole first season, because post-production was done during COVID time, I mean, I basically edited on this thing too, you know, through Zoom, you know, speaking with our editors. So for anybody at home, you can make a TV show with just one of these, <laughs> especially when someone that makes these pays for it. it. It makes it a lot easier. And it also has, you know, dozens and dozens of, uh, dozens of thousands, you know, probably like 50,000 personal photos of all my years through SNL, family photos. If I lost that, I would be, um, can I say f The next essential. That's a red pen right there. Your Pilot G2. This is basically what I do all the notes on any hard copy of a script or anything. I start with a box of these and I lose them throughout the season. Another red pen up in there. Another red pen. Sharpies, just in case. The delete key on the, you know, the laptop is, is very functional but a lot of times I work with hard copies just because it's easier to jot down notes. It's just the way I got used to doing it at Saturday Night Live from you know people like Tina Fey and Jim Downey and you know Mike Schur and Seth Meyers, like why would I change now? So yeah, the Pilot G2. If you do this, it makes it look like it's rubber. All right. I've got two decks of cards in there, red and blue, tally hose. I like magic, I like card tricks. You get a lot of idle time in the world these days, you know, and I was like, I don't just want to stare at my phone and get mad all the time. I want to do something else with my hands. And messing with a deck of cards was, it's almost like a professional like fidget spinner to just sit there and like shuffle cards. And I just like, I just, I've just kind of gotten used to like screwing with them. Every now and then if I've had enough beers, I'll do like card tricks for friends. But for the most part, they're in there just to pass time in cars or on set. Or, or doing tarot card readings, if you you know know the symbolism. I, I I don't, but you know I think aces are good. Again, you know operating out of a backpack. This is Kiehl's Blue Herbal Spot Treatment. That's for pimples. Kiehl's like a, a company I feel that as a guy from the Midwest who doesn't pay too much attention to the way he um, looks, it feels like I'm not too far off. This feels like being a grown up and being responsible and I'm like this and the face scrub, that's about, that's about, that's about what I do. <laughs> and then that's, that's that. Well, here we go, this is important. You might know what this is. This is my eyeglasses. These are my glasses. Essential for a number of things, uh, most importantly seeing. Also for looking smarter than I really am. I use these, I am nearsighted, which means I can't see far away. And this is a, a brand called Tarte Optical. I have a lot of different styles of this exact same frame, like a lot of different flavors, I would say, like brown and clear and, you know, mocha or whatever the heck. These have done, these have done the trick. And, oh, oh, this is being filmed. Oh. I'll always wear glasses. Every time I think about doing LASIK, I just uh, buy new, like, frames. And, and then that desire to have someone shoot lasers into my eye is, is removed. <laughs> Headphones. Now I got, you know, AirPods. I got, you know, AirPod Pros in here somewhere, I think, too. Wait a minute. Do I have the AirPod Pros? Look at this. I mean, I've got them, like, AirPod Pros, regular AirPods. 
And then the AirPods Max, or Air, I forget what they call these. These are what I use when mixing the show because you know you want to be able to hear everything. They're great, they fit great, they look cool. Phone calls, I just go with the AirPods. And then the AirPods Pros are great, but like I've got weird little ear holes. When the thing goes in there, I'm just not built for them as well, like they fall out. I love headphones. I grew up traveling on a team bus playing basketball in high school and college in the 90s, so I'm used to carrying big headphones when big headphones came into play and a disc man. So now, you know, with Bluetooth and everything, no wires, I'm happy to live in the future here. But I'm always on the search for them. I love what they do at, at Beats. I love Master and Dynamic, Bang & Loves, all of a sudden. If there's a groovy pair of headphones out there, I usually, you know, try to check them out. And these are great because they just slide right into the, right, right into the thing. And also uh, the kind folks at Apple uh, gave them to me for free. This is just a notepad. This is a website I really like, cool material. This is a notepad that I fill up with, with various ideas. It says brilliant ideas I had while stoned. Um, and that's not always the case. We are all capable of having brilliant ideas when we're sober, but this is where the stone ones go. If you're looking for, you know, Mother's Day, it's right around the corner. No, <laughs> you know. I do skew more analog, hence the red pen. I'd carry around a notebook from my Chicago days of doing a sketch and improv. Like when you would have a good idea, you'd jot it down. I still keep my notebooks near and dear to me. This isn't my passport, but this is my global entry card. That's an essential. I'm covering it up so that you, you little stinkers out there can't steal my global identity. Not that you'd be able to do much with it, but yeah. Oh, it expires. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it is expired. It expired last September. This son of a gun right here, this is it. This is a Leatherman squirt. It's like a little tiny Leatherman, like a Swiss Army knife. You're not that big son of a gun that your dad's friend wore on his belt all the time. No, it's like, it's like a little guy. This thing has opened wine bottles and beer bottles. I mean, I've used this puppy to like trim my mustache. I mean, look at that. And I use that for nose hairs. This is my second one. The first one, again, I got as a gift and I traveled with it a year, two years, and then I was heading home and security back in Kansas City stopped me and took it out. And I was like, you can't have that. I'm like, I've been everywhere with this. I've literally been here with this come and gone. And then they, they took it. I repurchased another one on my own. So it'll go at any point. And maybe it's contraband, maybe it's illegal, I don't know. You know, I guess security is a form of art that I was unaware of. So yeah, Leatherman squirt. All right, well folks, those are my essentials that travel with me in my backpack. Now you know a little bit more about me, and if you ever need one of those things and you see me, you can, you know, I'll help you out.